This is a short presentation on AC power and power factor correction. When we apply an AC voltage to a resistance, power is dissipated in the form of heat, light or work, called watts, with the symbol P. We can represent the power by a phasor or line, the length of which is proportional to the quantity of watts. Real power can be added, so we simply add power consumed by other resistors and increase the length of the line to give us the total power. However, motors are a different story. When we apply an AC voltage to a motor or coil, it has resistance and inductance. Power is dissipated in movement, but the inductive power consumes no power. It only provides a magnetic field. The inductive part is called the reactive component as measured in VAR and is represented by the symbol Q. It can be shown, what, uh, as shown here, at 90 degrees to the real part. The quantitative reactive power is represented by the length of its line. And although the re inductive part does no work, it still draws current, just like in the real power part. The real power and wattless power combine to produce apparent power. The apparent power is measured in VA and is represented by the symbol S. Here we see the power triangle. The relationship between all three components is shown here. The quantity of apparent power can be found by Pythagoras' theorem. So if we know the angle of theta, as shown here, and, this, and the dimensions of any other side, we can find the others. So using trigonometry Sokotoa, we can find, in this case, the cosine of theta, which is the adjacent of the hypotenuse, becomes power over apparent power, or watts over v VA. We can also find the apparent power S by knowing that it's power over cos theta, or it's also equal to the power squared plus the reactive power squared. Power factor is very important. It will always lie between 0 and 1, so the cosine of 0 degrees is 1. So taking an example, if the power is 1000 watts and theta is 30 degrees, the cosine of theta will be 0.886 lagging, and the apparent power will be equal to the power over cos theta, as shown earlier. This is 1000 watts divided by 0.886, so we have 1154 VA. So at 230 volts, this will consume 5.02 amps and not 4.35 amps, which it would do if the, at unity power factor. We can improve the power factor, which is very vitally important in Ireland, where the maximum demand of the country is 4,700 megawatts. Customers are encouraged to keep their power factor higher than 0.95. We do this by being able to uh, subtract from the reactive power you can add to re reactive power as shown here, but you can also subtract it as well. We do this by adding capacitance to the circuit. Capacitors consume reactive power, but in the exact opposite direction to the inductive reactants. So adding capacitance will reduce the reactance of the inductive part. This is an example situation where we have an inductance or rea reactive var q and we want to reduce the angle theta. Reducing this angle will also reduce the size of the apparent power. We do this by adding capacitors to the circuit which op operate in the exact opposite direction to the inductors as shown here. and we end up with a reduced angle theta, which in turn reduces the size of power. Proof power factor, reduce the apparent power and reduce the current flowing the circuit. We could in fact add so much capacitive reactive that we end up with a leading power factor as shown here. So what do we do in practice? We conduct a power factor correction survey our target is to improve the power factor to greater than 0.95. We install a power factor meter and capacitors. And the, the, we, at the end of the day, we save money. And on the bottom right hand, left hand side, we see the, a summary of the situation to reduce the apparent 